guys welcome back to diva caramel's channel and i'm here today to do a haul it's mostly lipsticks yeah but i'm so excited to show you the pigmentation of these colors and and the thing is that they are reasonably priced okay so i'm really excited about this one i'm wearing this one is violet and it's from nika k and it's only a dollar so i'll start with the nika k ones all of the all of the nika ones are not really pigmented but this one and lavender tea is so I'll show you swatches but this one is the violet on the lips okay so my faves are as I told you before the lavender and this is it I've been using it but isn't that a really pretty color oh my gosh and for the price you know you gotta get them a few swipes to really brown the pigmentation but that is so pretty <laughs> Okay, so that is not lavender, sorry, I said lavender, that's violet. Yeah, that's violet. Okay, and this one is lavender. It's a little lighter than the violet, but it's still a really pretty color. So sweet. <laughs> and I love purple lipstick, so these two are my fifth. Okay, so then we have small, and this is a blue. And they're kind of messy because... Um, I don't know, they kind of like, it was kind of twisting the cap, so it kind of slid on the side and it kind of messy, but nonetheless, I can depart them anyhow. So that's the blue. If you look good, you can see it's a little sheer, and the others are a lot more pigmented, yeah. Then we have... Aqua Verde is a commit and these swatches are pretty but then when you put it on your lips you know you kind of you kind of get a lot of skips in it and stuff but it's still a really nice color pretty price so there's the mint and this one is it looks like our Aurelin I'm not sure but I'll put the names in the down bar if you want to and this is like a yellow yeah so those are the Nika K lipsticks I didn't show you on the two really pretty goldish light yellow but the pigmentation is very pretty in the two but then when you swipe it it kind of skips you know and but it is not a matte it is glossy it kind of slips on the lips so it will take some working with but I guess like in some cases when I get lipsticks like these I use um, eyeshadows and I, that is of a similar color and I just pat it on to mattify it and to help stop it from slipping on the lips yeah so if you want to try that but these are the colors of the Nika K lipsticks and these were a dollar one US and the next ones that I'm really excited to show you are the Ruby Kisses Lip Lacquers. These are so pretty and they were each $3.99 if you buy them singly but I could not find a place to buy them singly so I had to buy them off Amazon.com and I had to buy them in the full pack and I think there were 12 or 11 and it was $46.95 I think it was. Okay. And just how you see them here is in, in the tube is just how they will swatch on the lips and on the hand. These are excellent for $3.99. Okay, so I'll swatch them and show you quickly. Okay, so these are the swatches. And no, it did not come with a green. But if you mix blue and yellow, you will get green. Okay, and that's a good thing about these two. They can mix and create other colors. Okay, so I'll show you. This purple one is purple berry. And this is this one here. And I like the applicator. It's like a sponge like applicator, but it's very precise. It's not too big and, and you go the lips is kind of flattish and it's very precise. Then we have the orange curl. Really pretty. Then 
Then we have Aruba Blue. Exactly as it is in the tube, it's on the hand, it's on the lips. Awesome pigmentation, so Ruby Kisses did well. The other one is in Tense Yellow. And as I said, I mixed the yellow and the green and I got this blue. This, Sorry, I got this green and I'm calling that mean green. I have swatches, lip swatches of these also on my Instagram at the Diva Caramel. So if you want to check that out, I did a lot of different combos with the the um with the different colors and got some awesome combinations and they look really pretty. Yeah, so you can check out. I'll, I'll insert some of the pictures as well somewhere in the video. But yeah, you, if you want to see them, you can still check out my Instagram at the Diva Caramel and see the lip swatches. Okay, on to the others. Okay, so the next one is Midnight Plum Black. And this is it out here. A really nice burgundy -ish, like wine-ish light colour. Yes, a really vampy light light. <laughs> and then we have True Blood. And that's a red. A kind of deep red. Really pretty very pigmented then we have lady like fuchsia a pretty pink yeah and there are three pinks and they're all really different to me so that's good something to get pinks and they're kind of close but they you can see the difference in all three Okay, and this one is lively hot pink. And this one is bubblegum pink. Okay, and this final one is um, naked nude and this one has a slight all the others are like have no shimmer anything in them but this one has a slight shimmery look but it's still very pretty it kind of looks like a rose gold and they did a a combo with this and um, max rose pigment and it looked really pretty it's a really nice um, rose gold looking type of lip nude type of lip and they have that picture on Instagram at the Diva Karma Yes, a really pretty nude though, although it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Okay, so next are the Wet n Wall um, lipsticks and I'll show you the, the swatches of those. Okay, the first two Wet n Wall lipsticks are, that I'm going to show you are... 24 karat gold and I love this. This is such a pretty orange salmony salmon lit color. Yeah. Really pretty. See it's like a oh it's like a salmon is I know it's just so gorgeous. I'm gonna put it on the lips, it's even more pretty. And then there is rose bud. And this is like a nudish pink. Yeah. Okay, next one I have to show you is Pinker Bell. Okay. And this is like a corally light pink to me. Is it up top here? You might not see the coral, the you know the the tone in the in the video, but it's a corally pink to me. But it's really pretty. Yeah, so that is Pinker Bell. 
and this one is I have one I have one of this for a well noticed doll house pink and yeah this is like a kind of like a lavender pink to me okay so that's this one here and oh I forgot to mention I got these from drugstore.com and they were 239 US I know there are some places cheaper one you know but I, that's the only place that took my card <laughs> my my um my overseas card because some sites don't like to take overseas um, credit cards so that's the only site that took my card so that's the one I use and lastly from Wet and Well we have Sugar Plum Fairy which is a really pretty color and this is a dupe for Rebel, Max Rebel and they have Rebel and it is it's really really close and then we have vamp it up and this kind of looks like cyber max cyber okay so these are cheaper alternatives only 239 and some places 199 yeah so those are the wet and well lippies next I'll show you some stuff I got from that only a few things Okay, next we have some pigments. If you had watched my video, my other haul before this, you would have seen that I had gotten the Naked 3, the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, but I was not impressed at all. I didn't like it. Sorry, guys. So, my girlfriend, on the other hand, Judith, she loved it, so she purchased it from me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was able then to get these matte pigments and glitters that I wanted. So, the first one I'm going to show you is Rose Gold. Not Rose Gold just rose but it looks like a rose gold and that's this one to the top and this is it here so gorgeous I love it and I have bought the naked tree because I have wanted rose gold colors because I didn't have any rose gold in my collection but the one in there that's kind of like pinkish to me it's more pinkish to me than rose gold but this rose pigment from MAC yes this is indeed rose gold very pretty Okay, and then I got the um, old gold pigment. Oops. And this is really pretty as well. Really, really pretty. Has it there, and it has a lot of sheen to it. Yeah, a lot of sheen to it. It's going to be really pretty on the eyes. And a lot of people avoid using pigments because they're kind of hard to work with. But to me, you just pick up a little at a time and you wet the brush with fix plus or any second spray you have and you just dab it on okay don't move it around too much dab it on or else you're gonna make a mess so yeah that's the rose pigment and old gold pigment from that and these are some new sizes they have now can't remember what they named them on the something to go or something like that but anyhow there are the smaller versions to the bigger one and they were 10 US And let me just compare it to this a pigment here. Not a pigment, a, a glitter, a reflex glitter. And let me just compare it so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna swatch the reflex copper. Whoa, you gotta be so careful because this could be messy. Look at it in the two. Oh, it looks orangey, but it's like a bronzy, coppery like color. Not bronze, sorry, a copper. It's definitely copper, it's not bronze. But there is the, the swatch. Really pretty. They could put this over uh, other colors to bring them up. Yeah. And this one I've wanted like forever. Reflects gold. is how it looks to me too kind of like whitish but when you put it on then you see the gold flex in it let me just open it oh, don't watch right there you 
can't really see it, but you'll see it in your swatch. It's really pretty, and this too, you can put over any color mister and swatch it with the same finger that I swatched the copper with. But nonetheless, that's it, reflects gold to the top. And really pretty color that you can put over any shadow so bring it out okay so that's what I got instead of the naked free palette and I'm so much happier with these lastly I got this makeup case it's a really sweet makeup case it's because chevron print makeup case and I love that the popper like a neon coral the zip and everything and they have some goodies in here <laughs> yeah but that's the inside the inside is a pretty neon coral um, color yes it is and it has two zips yeah so that's my new makeup case <laughs> and I got this from Keisha Pray right and that's here in Barbados Okay, sweetie, so that's it for my haul. I really appreciate all of you guys that keep subscribing to my channel, that are following me on Instagram, you know, showing me lots of love, leaving comments, liking my pictures and what's not. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And continue subscribing, continue liking my videos, follow me on Instagram, and all that good stuff. Thanks, sweeties. Bye.